Hello guys, welcome to Living With The Tide. In this video, I'm gonna show you our inReach and tell you a bit about its features. So guys, this is our DeLorme InReach SE. There's two models, there's the yellow and the orange version. The orange is the Explorer and this is the SE. We went for the cheaper one, just because we didn't need the extra features. I actually brought this a couple of years ago for hiking when we hiked across Scotland because we had a few days where we wouldn't be around anyone. It allowed people to track us and has an SOS feature, a bit like an uh, EPIRB. You can press that across, press SOS and it'll go and uh, alert the authorities that you're in danger. So the key features is, for us, the main one is the SOS. It backs up our EPIRB, so we're, if we're ever in distress, we can press that and it'll alert the authorities and track us, like I've said. Second one, the actual tracking feature. It'll, for, we've set it for every 20 minutes, it'll send up a ping up to the satellites, and you can go on our website, onto our page, and you can actually see where we are in the world real time. So if you went on there now, you'd see that we're in the Madeiras in our marina. Another feature is the ability to send text messages. It's not a full on sat phone, you can't ring anyone, but you can send text messages. Made easier by the app, which I'll show you in a minute. You can send text to and from mobile phones uh, or onto the internet itself um, and ask questions. They do cost money. In the plan we use, we get 43 texts, but the preset text you can send for free, and that's stuff like um, when I was hiking, I had three messages set up that was. Uh, Camp is all good, uh, set up for the night. Camp is away, we're making our way for today. And we've got a problem, I'll, uh, I'll message you soon, kind of thing. And th those were free ones, you can send as many as you wanted. And you can change those on the website, so they don't have to be those ones you, you can choose. The other messages you can send, and it's got it as a part of the uh, built-in, is Ask a Doctor, which if you text, they ask the doctor, they've got doctors on standby, uh, who they'll, so say, um, you've broke your leg, and you want to know what to do, you can text that to the doctor, and the doctor will walk it through, it's part of their emergency services, they'll walk you through what you should do while they're sending out uh, someone to pick you up, etc. So that's a big help. And another one you can text, it uses your 43 uh, messages, uh, apart from the marine one, which is of course a big one for us, is you can get weather forecasts on this. Um, you have to pay a bit extra if you want longer weather forecasts, but I believe it does. Last time I did it, it was two days, so you get two days weather forecast, and it costs a bit extra. I think it's something like 10p per message to get the marine forecast, which is quite good. That does five days of marine forecast, tells you wind, uh, wave states, etc. for the for the area, or you can actually type in the Latin long. So say if I wanted to know tomorrow's, I could type in where I believe I will be tomorrow, Latin long wise, it'll tell me a forecast for that area. So that, that comes in quite handy. It's not the most accurate weather forecast I've ever got, but one that does help, and I'll show you what, on the messages, is uh, I send a message to my dad saying I'm all well every day on the long crossing, and he normally sends me back a weather forecast, so uh, that always comes in handy. So some of you might wonder how, how well the coverage is. It's actually worldwide coverage, it's using the Iridium system, so probably the, I think that's still the biggest satellite system. I know the European Union has just sent up their satellites in China, etc. have theirs. And Iridium is still the biggest and best. I think it covers almost every point of the globe. So, well, I've never had a problem in Europe uh, and where we've been so far. Uh, I'll keep using it, but it seems quite good. So, the buttons are quite simple you've got the tick and the cross, self explanatory. Uh, up, down, left, right, that's for going through the menu, I'll show you now, so you can unlock it, I don't know if you can see this in this light, uh, you can go through all the options, messaging, tick, etc, cross, get through everything, and then like I've said, the SOS button, you can press it whenever you want, it won't do anything until you pull this over, it goes red, and now you can press it, which of course I will not be doing. The only main problem we found is texting on this thing is a bit like really old Nokia 3310s, you know, get the list of, of things you have to go A, B, and you type out your letters, uh, you know, your message, it's very slow. So we found it's got Bluetooth, it connects to iPhones and Androids, etc. Download the app and you can use that to then text. It makes it much easier. There's also more features on the app and I'll go through that in a minute. 
So the plans, we've not looked at the other two. I know there's a cheaper plan and there's a more expensive plan than the one we're on. But the one we have is $25 a month, which isn't too bad for a, a satellite communication. That gives you 40 free messages. Those are just ones you can type, weather forecast, etc. Unlimited tracking points, and that's the main reason we went for this one, because I think the plan below is cheaper, but you get a limited amount of tracking points you can send a month. So we wanted unlimited. So we just leave this thing charged up, running all the time when we're sailing. It sends them up every 20 minutes. And that's why when sometimes you'll go onto our, um, our, our web page and you'll see that we, at an anchorage will be all over the place as we're moving around. It stops sending tracking points if you're still. Of course, you're never still at an anchorage because you keep spinning around the hook. So it keeps sending them up and it looks like a spider's web. But they're unlimited, so it doesn't matter. It just makes a bit of a, a funny mess on the map. So it's not a big deal. So like I said, guys, this is the old model. That's because Delorme got brought out by Garmin last year and Garmin and them have now released a new model and it's, uh, it's better, of course, than this model. It's, um, it was about the same price. I think I paid £300 for this. I believe it's around £300 for the new model. So we'll link that up using the Amazon thing. We'll link that up for you guys. And if you want the Explorer model, which is the orange one, that's an extra hundred pounds, so that's 400 odd quid. But that um, doubles up as a Garmin uh, satellite uh, GPS. So you actually get preloaded maps, you can put routes in, etc., uh, and all that like you would on a, uh, a on a normal GPS, handheld GPS. So it, it doubles up as both, so you don't have to carry two. Not a big deal for us. I always, when I was hiking, just used my maps and a compass like I learned in the army. So I didn't really care about a handheld GPS. And on here, of course, the plot is the main bit. So again, it's not a big deal for us. We just want the tracking points and the SOS feature. So this is my iPad with the app on. At the moment, this is the main page. It's showing the map. If you zoom out a bit, it'll uh, go better in color. Little triangle is, of course, off from which way the inReach itself is facing. You've got some details at the bottom, speed, heading, elevation, and lat and long, which is always quite useful. That's about it. Uh, this app allows you to do everything on the inReach. So messages here, as you can see, there's all the messages I've been sending and receiving. So again, like I said with my dad, I sent him a message saying that we were all good. He then sent me a message back saying uh, that the wind was going to be gusting force five, gusting to six and seven at times. And then he was, uh, by the way, don't forget 20% discount at Funchal Marina because we're members of the Cruising Association. So we put that in there and, and bits and bobs like that. Uh, down here, it's a bit like a, any iPad. You can just type in your message and send it away. You've got the ability, you can send it to any phone number you know, but you can save a few. So on the inReach is my dad's phone number and Dave's. Also the emergency contacts, which is a big bit I missed out. You have to put in your emergency contacts the two I've put in are my dad and Paige's dad. So if anything does happen, they get a message and a phone call saying that something's happened and keeps them all in the loop of if we've got an emergency with this. So next one across is tracking. That's just sending, uh, telling us the tracking point details. So the last one I sent was literally two minutes ago. But then total track details tells me all of them. I mean, we've going, been going days, time moving, days, distance, 2,702.84 nautical miles so far. Maximum speed we've ever done 16.5 knots, and moving average is 4.81 knots. I don't know when we did 16.5 knots. I think that might have just been the in reaching a car or something. <laughs> but next one across compass, which gives you a uh, compass. I mean, not much use, but there it is. Waypoints you can put waypoints down like you would do in a uh, like a plotter. Routes you can put in routes only on this, on the iPad. You can't do it in the in the inReach itself. This is just on the iPad. I mean the route bit is on the Explorer, but not on the SE. History tells you all the message history and tracking points. Then more has so weather. You can go on the weather and ask for the basic weather, which is three days in six hour intervals, costing one message from plan. So that's okay. You can get the premium weather, which gives you seven days, which is of course better but then it's going to cost you money a marine weather forecast location must be of an ocean or large body well that's us most of the time additional charge per request i think it's something like 10p but we've got that one comes in handy i mean i think if i go on here you can see them so that's that's uh sorry that one there telling me forecasts for uh for weather etc sos 
Well, so there you go. Slide and press for SOS. We don't want to do that. My inReach just tells you details, tracking points, sent, the percentage battery, what version you're on. You can press that to check for new messages. Uh, options, so this is where you can pair the device, count and sync. So you have to sync it every now and then to update it. Map, tracking. So we've got its send interval at 20. We can have 10, 20, 30, 1 hour, 2 hours, 4 hours. We found the longer ones when we're up in Scotland were no good because it looks like we were driving across land. So we set it to 20 minutes. Seems to be fine. I mean, crossing long distance when we did uh, from here, from Lagos to here, four days, probably could have moved it to two hours. And it would have made much difference, but we never did. Uh, log intervals, so that's just how, how often you wanted to save, but I put it off. Messages, so listen intervals, so every 20 minutes it checks for new messages, and it'll some other options. Units, I've changed it to my sailing one, so I've got nautical mile. When I was, of course, hiking, I had it set in miles, but switched it to nautical miles. Coordinates in degrees and minutes. Datum, if people know about this, WGS84 is the modern satellite datum, and that's what most chart, modern charts are now done in, so, so they sync up. Uh, bearing, true north, temperature in Celsius, pressure in millibars. And then a bit about it and help, so you can, a bit of troubleshooting. And that's everything on the app. It's a it's a big help that app, much better than the um, than just using the inReach on its own. So if you've got an iPhone, iPad, or an Android or tablet, etc., it'll all link up with Bluetooth. So now we'll quickly show you on the laptop how to get onto our website and find the actual link so you can find us and where we are. To find us, open your browser, type in livingwiththetide.co.uk, hit enter. It'll take you to our homepage. Scroll down that to all the way to the bottom. You'll find the inReach uh, green button. Find out where we are currently. Hit the button. It'll load up the inReach page. The little uh, triangle is us, and there's the tracking points that we've sent. Zoom out. You can see where we've been since we started up in Scotland. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. I explained a bit about our inReach. Uh, we had a few questions, so I hope that answered them. All the links will be down in the description, and I uh, hope to see you again soon.